Maybe you're interested in getting an FPV, but the price looks a little steep. The electronics don't cost all that much nowadays. The transmitter and receiver for the video system, along with the camera, are actually getting uh, really reasonable in price. But one thing that stays exceptionally expensive are FPV, cam uh, FPV monitors, screens. And usually they're pretty small. Granted, you do need something that will handle blue screen, that won't really go to a blue screen uh, very quickly or at all, so that you can still see even a staticky image. But there is a really cheap alternative if you've got some parts lying around, uh, and you probably do. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of my super simple, super cheap FPV ground station because I myself was not willing to spend that much money on a specialized FPV screen. Here it is. Okay, so here is my complete uh, FPV ground station. Really sorry about the lighting. I just moved and this is uh, the only thing I had available. So. I'll give you a quick rundown of all the parts. Uh, the screen you see is a 17 inch LCD monitor uh, that was designed for a PC. It has two ports in the back, a power port, which is obviously needed, and a VGA port. Uh, what you see right here, this is a video to VGA converter. I just wanna stop here and say that the part that I'm reviewing right now, it, the video to VGA converter, is probably not something that you already have. This is something that I bought specifically for this purpose, but it was only about $15 online. Just go on eBay and find it. You'll guaranteed to find it for less than 20 bucks. Everything else I had sitting around the house. I just cobbled it all together and made an FPV ground station spending really only $15 that I normally wouldn't spend. So in comparison to a $155 FPV screen that's either 7 to 10 inches to a 17 inch monitor that you can use with just a $15 adapter, it's a pretty good deal. It takes RCA input, regular video input or S video input, and it converts it to a VGA this various VGA display inputs, um, different resolutions. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking the uh, video signal from my receiver and routing it through here. And that's what this wire is right here. It goes in here and then it comes out here in a couple different formats to actually fit the screen. Uh, and I'll show you an example of this uh, later on in this video. This is powered uh, by, by DC power 5 volts and it uh, uses this adapter thing and I could have wired it with a 5 volt step down but it was easier just to connect it to a power strip because I'm going to be running this off of a power strip as well. So this goes right here from right here this power Shh, stop it. My dog. So this is actually connected over here and the monitor, this is the power cable to the monitor. And I also have, this is obviously a VGA going to the monitor uh, somewhere back here. I have it routed through some wires. Now, you might be wondering how are you powering this through a battery? And it's really simple. I actually have this cigarette lighter um, car cigarette lighter converter. The, the cigarette lighter port in the car is really just a power port. It, it's uh, taking the 12 volts directly from your car battery and just providing power that way. This used to have the plug that you would insert into the car and I just simply cut it off and put an XT60 connector on it so I can connect it to my battery. And I'll go ahead and, and power this up for you uh, because this is how I would turn everything on. All right, so now I've got the XT60 connector connected to this splitter. And the splitter is powering two devices. This right here is actually the power to the receiver. This is actually connecting right here, this thing. This takes 12 volts 
and this provides 12 volts because it's a three volt or three cell lithium, uh, lithium polymer battery and it provides the same amount of voltage as your generic car battery. So it works out really well. You don't have to do any modifications except for solder this wire, which is real easy. There's only two wires to an extra cigarette lighter port plug. So let's recap. It goes from lithium polymer battery to this little adapter piece to the splitter. Splitter powers the connector that powers the receiver, so we're receiving everything right now. And this right here with a little glowy green thing, this is a power inverter. And you probably have one of these if you live in the United States and you go on vacation uh, and you don't fly, you drive. Because uh, you can plug all sorts of devices in here like, a laptop, like your laptop or game consoles. Uh, and you just plug this device into your car uh, cigarette lighter port. And it has a three-prong outlet, uh, just like the power strip just like this and you can't really see it but right here is the plug to the power strip so I'm gonna turn the power strip on there we go and you can see that I got a blue screen because I've got no video feed right now and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through the trouble of setting that up but uh, you'll see it working later on in the video so now the power strip is getting power from the inverter that's getting power from the splitter and the lithium polymer battery. It's feeding that power, AC current, to this plug, which is feeding power to the monitor. It's also feeding power and AC current, uh, or alternating current, to this adapter that powers the video to VGA converter, which is converting the RCA signal into VGA output. The VGA output's going to the screen and will allow you to actually see everything. It's really not hard at all. You only have to solder maybe four wires, and if you buy the right combo online, maybe even two. The only thing that you might have to solder is this XT60 or whatever plug you like to use connector to your splitter. And everything else plugs in just like you're plugging anything, anything into the outlet. I put this all inside of a case. This is a really thin aluminum uh, briefcase. This is cardboard. I just painted it black and cut it out in the right size. And that's pretty much it. Normally you would only plug in this yellow output from your receiver. And the yellow goes to this black connector. And the black connector is right here connected to this. Normally it's all you really need, but if you have a transmitter or a camera that has audio output, you have the option of adding your uh, audio to your receiver, uh, your ground station system. And what I've done here is I've taken RCA plugs and I just took the yellow cord off and I left only the red and the white. The red and the white are plugging in to this cable that came with the receiver and they're going out right here. And what we're doing is, this is a little um, speaker that's designed for your smartphone or MP3 player. It just has a real simple 3.5 millimeter jack. And what I'm doing is using this coupler. Hey, stop it. It's just rain. What I'm doing, sorry, the dog, is ridiculous. Oh, be quiet, it's just the storm. 3.5 millimeter jack, 3.5 millimeter female, uh, female coupler to this RCA to 3.5 millimeter converter. You connect all these together and plug these in together and you've got audio. It's, that, it's just that simple. Here it is. You're out over there and you realize that, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to videotape this while I'm watching the plane. Because it's cooler. Pull up right now. I'm landing. I know, but it's really low. There it goes. You're... It's close. Sweet!